Okay, today in Crystal Report, uh, we are going to study how to make a report using wizard, right? Till now we are working in design, but today we are going to make a report using a wizard. So how to do? First of all, let me create a folder here. Morning term S Crystal Report. Today is third or fourth? Zero four dash one one dash two zero one. Okay, now create a database, small database here. Blank database for the desktop. Classes morning term S crystal report in fall eleven two thousand twelve. Let's say this is implied database. Create a table here. Imply ID. Imply name. Salary. Commission. Manager. And department number. Right. On imply ID, let me change it to auto number. This is EMP. Primary key, no, I'm not going to define any primary key. Now make entries of some records. <coughs> and exactly like that, let me make some. 7, 8 entry. Last one I am going to make entry of let's say this is Bilal. Bilal cutting let's say 700. Commission 200. And working under Smith department number 30. Close it. Close this one as well. Open crystal report as usual. If you remember till now we used to select this option right right now we are going to select using the report expert right using report expert report expert consists of some steps you are supposed to follow those steps <coughs> just follow the steps next next and at the end you will get the final report click on ok now again it's asking that if if you are not going to continue with the report expert you can select blank report from here I'm saying no I'm going to make so this one selected now in the first one you are having these different styles the first one standard form letter form cross tab sub reports different options you are having right so i'm going to continue with the first one check later on the next the rest of them right standard one selected click on ok now it's asking of database click on database exactly like the previous more data sources from here Microsoft sorry OLEDB selected databases more data source OLEDB now either double click on make new connection or this is already selected click on add double click so the database I created in access so you have to select Microsoft Jet 4.0 next select database for the desktop classes folder Morning from S Crystal Report, the first folder in imply. Okay, in this one also. Okay, now watch your database having only one table EMP. So it's added here now. Double click on this or simply click on add, it's already selected. Okay, I'm going to double click. Double clicked, close. Till here, clear. Now it's showing you that the table available for report EMP table. I'm saying okay, that's fine. Next. Right now you are on the data tab. You have to fulfill the fields, group, total, top, and so you are not supposed to click here. Just simply click on next here. Now watch you are on the fields. <coughs> now in the report you need imply ID, name, all these things you need. Yeah, I need all of them. If you need a specific one, just simply click on that and click on add. I need all of them. Now, click on imply the first one EMP, 
emp 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 all of them representing the table and the next dot eid dot enam dot cell dot com dot manager and dot de department number these are the attributes name or column names right now column heading for employee id it will display employee id as eid like this i'm saying no just display it like id next one ename just name for the next one sale commission manager and the last one department number department number right now if you want to create some formula if you want to create some formula yes i want to create a formula what i want the sum of the sum of the salary and commission for each and every employee in order to calculate the net salary so what i have to do click on formula formula name i want to calculate net salary i'm writing n n for net and s for salary net salary okay now the salary plus commission done seven returns now here the net salary added here now if you watch carefully here here on the right side field to display fields to display here you do not have the ns so simply click on this and click on add now where you want to display it after department number no i want to display it after commission right now again one thing more one more formula tax i want to calculate tax as well net salary multiply with 0.05 net salary multiply by 0.05 now what's the meaning of this watch here <coughs> for example a person is getting 1000 <coughs> another 2000 another 1200 another 1300 so what i've done i multiplied the salary with 0.05 so in in thousand in thousand for example this is a person by the name of a this is a this is b c d e right so this a person has to pay 50 tax right and now simply what i have to do drag for the others if i want to calculate if i want to calculate 10 percent so what i have to do instead of instead of 0 0.05 i have to write here 10 0 0.10 now watch it's it's 100 now right and now the net salary the the complete salary will be what i have to do this salary the net salary minus this is the tax enter so this is the net salary this person is getting right like this so the same thing i'm going to apply here in the crystal report so the net salary multiply by 0 0.05 7 return that was the tax tax selected and added there ah, one thing more the net salary will be calculated or displayed as ns launch so i'm writing here sell plus c s plus c sell sell plus commission and the <coughs> text displayed like this and now one more formula that is the this is the next heavy now i'm just writing nns or let me write here fs final salary click on ok now the final salary will be net salary minus the tax amount seven return there this is the final salary final salary and click on add edit there this one is well added now just simply right here net salary now click on next okay do you want to group your report yeah i want to group on the basis of what on the basis of manager 
You can also group on the basis of department number. Can we group on the basis of employee name? Grouping. Group. Group record. You can group record on the basis of on the basis of that field where data is repeated. Now, if you watch carefully in the e name, in the e name, each and every name is different. So if you are having ten names, it will make ten groups. Now if you watch here carefully towards the manager, the manager I'm having King, I'm having Ellen, I'm having Smith. These three names are repeated again and again, two, three, four times repeated. So that's fine. I can select manager as a group. I can select department number as well as a group. Why? Because in department number I'm having 10, 20, and 30. Right? Okay. And now display it in uh, which order? In ascending order, in descending order, you can select, right? Original order. Okay, ascending order selected. Next. <coughs> now, would you like to apply any summary? Would you like to apply any function? Yeah, I, I want to apply. Summary type, sum, average, maximum, minimum, count, what? I'm saying, okay, sum. Sum of what? Imply department number. It will add the department numbers with each other. No. Imply salary. Imply salary. Right? Click on next. Uh, if you are going to select the department number, for department number, you can select what? count you can select count for that these functions are these functions are statistical functions you will not get these mod, mod median coverage correlation all these are okay so sum selected what i want to sum i want to sum the salary salary of the employees now next the this is you are having the um, again further grouping i'm not going to perform any further grouping just simply click on next till till now i'm in chart now i want to create a chart i want to create chart now which type of chart bar chart line chart area for example i selected the bar chart now click on data this is the data here on change of employee manager on change of employee manager show sum of employee id no employee salary from here click on text title what should be the title for the graph sum of sale no just simply write here imply graphical view subtitle if you want to include okay that's fine if you are not going to include just leave it group title manager and data title sum of salary okay let me write here sum of salary properly now the title here title selected you want to display title like how click on font mm, i want to display it bold if you want to increase its size, yeah, you can increase its size. Right? You can change its style. For the subtitle, for footnote, legend title, group title, different things here you are having, right? Again, click on next. The data can be filtered so that only... No, I don't need this. Simply click on next as well once more. Now this is you are having the last one style. How it will look like? Standard, leading, training, table, <coughs> drop table, executive, different options here you are having. I'm going to select the first one. First one selected. Now title for the report. Implies sample report. Some cell text. And last one, what was that? Net cell. And now simply click on finish. Here it goes. Do one thing more. Go to design. Accept this print date. Select all of them. This page number as well. All of them selected. Alignment already left. 
ok click on left here from here I'm selecting its font size 8 and from here Calibri style selected now for report title as well the Calibri style print date Calibri style selected and here page number left align make it bold it's out of the report control back key adjust it properly here and that's it now see this is the title for the graph whose department is getting the largest salary king, king department next department Allen. next department smith department this is legend this this thing is called is legend here on the left side you are having some of salary here you are having manager manager names Allen king smith okay here 0000 2000 3000 4000 so this it's showing showing the sum of salary right <coughs> okay and now check the check this report this is Allen why this Allen repeated here cause it's a group Riaz Riaz having manager Allen Wakar having manager Allen Jamal having manager Allen all on here it's going to show you the the um, IDs 10 eight, sorry 8 7 and 2 now Riaz salary is 2000 commission is 1000 so 2000 plus 1000 sorry 2000 plus 100 <coughs> 2100 tax is how much 105 and whenever you are going to subtract the 105 from 2100 you will get 1995 now the rest of figure not visible okay let me arrange that one as well can design where was the problem in the this is salary plus commission tax and net salary okay right click here salary plus commission in the detail section right click on the ns right click format field customize decimals one i i don't need mean to say after decimal i don't need anything click on okay Okay, here is one. Now click on the text. <coughs> right click, format field, customize decimals, no decimals. And for the next one, right click, format field, customize, and decimals I don't need. Okay, that's it. Click on OK. Okay, here is one. Now click on preview and check it out. 2000 plus 100 to 100. There is no any the 0 0.00. So 2000 plus 1000, 2100. Oh, uh, 105 is the tax, and the net salary is 1995. So this is the next one for Wakar. Next one for Jamal. Salary, net salary, all of them added here. So this is the net amount. This is the net commission for department number department number 20. This is the net salary plus commission. This is the net tax. This is the net sorry the grants net salary here. Sum of department number. It's going to show the sum of department. Do we need do we need the sum of department numbers? No. no need of this remove it from here now check the preview sorry this one not needed this one as well not needed from here that's removed right okay and here it's showing you the grand total all of them here you are having the grand values 
grain weight is means the the <coughs> this field related to salary the net complete salaries here complete commissions complete salary plus commission complete tax 600 all implies all implies having tax 600 and the net salary it's showing 11400 and you can extend the field as well from there so this was all about your report how to make report using report expert clear in saving report simply control s or the desktop classes practice on this right now here in the class if you are facing any problem you can ask thank you